Time to take a look at everything for Weekly Reset, dated 1st of August 2022. Uh, we'll just jump straight into Nightfall, shall we? Elite Acts? Ooh, I wish I had them for that. Convert 10 Riven Slithers into a Riven Mod. You do that, of course, by going to Earth, heading to... And I wish I could remember the name of the place. Over at Iron Wake. And see her in the, the room. Round the back. Mmm, that annoys me because I cannot remember her name. It's not actually bringing up her name, but just to quickly kind of show you, you go to the Iron Wake and it is in the back corner here. You spawn all the way over there. You literally just spawn in, come over here, and she is in this. I love this as an interception map or a defense map. It is a ton of fun. And I'm glad they used it for something else, but I always want to call her. I do not remember her name. I'm going to say that straight away. I want to say begins with a pal. I cannot remember. Let's just have a look and see what her name is. Ah, Paladino. Then that's where you convert your Riven Slithers into Riven Mods. Then also kill the Prophet Taker. So all in all, this is what elite acts are supposed to be. Ten Riven Slithers aren't that easy to get a hold of, and the Prophet Taker can be annoying to take down, sometimes not all the time. Normal acts, unlock three relics, complete five scans for Cephalon Samaris, kill 500 enemies, complete nine invasion missions of any type, and pick up eight rare mods. That index works wonders for that really does and these are dailies so don't really matter cred offerings there's obviously the hell's elite you need that and the key that goes with it to get a hold of the vitrica 10,000 kuba nayatan vorban parts catalyst reactor having a look for her helmet and it's not there ah it's a shame but the key for the hell's elite is there if you don't have it, you do need both of them to take on the Nihal battle. It's bugging me now. Is her helmet there? No. Auras, there is Deadeye. If you use a sniper rifle, this is kind of a must because it's 52.5% extra damage for sniper rifles. Enemy radar, no, use Animal Instinct. It is much better than that. Rifle scavenger, ammo pickup for rifles. Physique, maximum health increased by 90%. That can be useful depending on the frame you're actually running. For weapon skins, there is the Hec Desert Camo skin, the Sindor Desert Axe skin, mm -hmm. the Exergis Shock Camo skin, the Falcor Shock Camo skin. Weapon-wise, there is the Ooh, Pangolin, I don't know what I was about to say there. Pangolin Sword Blueprint, Blueprint to build the actual weapon, as well as obviously the Ceramic Dagger, same thing, it's the Blueprint to build the actual weapon. And then we have the Return of the Wolf Beacon. This is the only way to get the Wolf of Saturn 6 to come after you, and hopefully drop parts for the, the Wolf Sledge, his weapon. I kind of wish these things were easier to get a hold of and didn't cost 50 each, but at the same time, the Vitrica is 60 each. Hmm. There is Augment wise. The Supra Augment that increases accuracy while aiming can be pretty useful. Wish it affected recoil just that little bit more though. Deceptive Bond, the decoy augment for Loki that transfers damage from you to his decoy, but it also transfers damage from the decoy to you. And the Latron Double Tap, 20% Bonus damage on next shot for two seconds. Stacks up to 20 times outside of Conclave. That is, of course, on hit. Then, obviously, if we head over, see what Teshin has for the Steel Path on our store this week. It was the Umbra Former last week. Also, people can now stop asking me and hating on me for the fact he's smoky. I have creator mode turned on, so he should look like normal him. It's not my fault Digital Extreme won't fix this. At least he's not orange anymore. Plus, now we all know he's what his fate actually is. That's why he's smoky. I have no idea why he's smoky and they haven't just fixed it, but hey, digital extreme fear. There is the 50,000 Kuva this week, as well as obviously 
for the Riven you have to pick up for the Elite Act, you may as well pick up a Veiled Riven Cypher if you have a spare 20 Steel Essence going spare, and instantly unlock it using that, and obviously after that there's just the normal primary, secondary arcane adapters, the stance former blueprint, to be fair, can actually be really useful, that's what I need to fix on Korra when I get the chance to, and nothing else because yet again they still haven't added anything else to this, we're still waiting for the Aurelian action glyph, as well as every in-action glyph since, well, throughout two th for the past two years nearly. One of my favourite ones is even though Barrow's only around for two days and has been gone for many, many, nearly 12, it's 11 solid hours at the time of reset, this still only says two days, which means they finally updated their own website with Barrow Katia's inventory being synced with the parity event after Barrow turned up instead of giving people warning ahead of time. Yeah, that was still weird. But lastly, if you have helmets invigoration segment, you can come in and check on these. These are different for everybody. But of course, remember the reason to check these is every 10th invigoration will mutate, allowing you to put any one of these that you may have onto the frame you have equipped. Ooh, I may actually do that one because duration on Lavos can be really good. Caliban, not so much. Melee damage, primary damage, yeah, I'd rather go for abilities here than damage added to primaries, melees, or anything like that. Personal preferences, really. There's nothing wrong with them. Just right now, I'd rather use ability duration for Lavos, but that means taking Korra off, and I'm just not ready to do that yet. I'm still... Still got to form a hair once more, but I'm kind of levelling up the kitty right now. Both of them, actually, because I have... Uh, Luna re-equipped here, but that's about it for another week, so we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.